Likewise, you can put it near your campsite and... Oh, oh already. Do some unboxing today. We are in Harvey Dam, so it's a bit windy, but um, let's just get started. So, I think the least place we expect to buy any camping gear is Daiso, but I am so excited because I got a few bargains. I don't know whether this bargain or not because I do find them in Timu or so, but um, let's see what I have got in store for you. So, one of the things that I absolutely love is this serving plate um, it's in the shape of a bear and you have two dipping sauce um, allocations here which i really love and it's so cute i'm thinking of buying more of this because it's so cute um i think this one is about six dollars then i bought one of these things if you have watched any camping shows or korean camping shows you would have seen a lot of these um, teens um, they use it to put their rice even drink soju from it so yeah we just bought one because it's not the brand snow peak so i don't know how good it is so i'm really not sure because in my mind i really want to buy the snow peak one which is made of titanium this is as lightweight but it's very thin so i don't know um let's see i'll test this and tell you guys how i go with this this one is i think this one I can't remember exactly how much this is but the prices in Australia for Daiso start from $3.95 maybe? Yeah, so it's not like $1.99 or as cheap as the 100 yen in Daiso in Japan so it's not as cheap as we would like to think but however I found this which I'm really happy about The third thing I really want to show you is this teen I think you call it a soldier teen or army team um, but I've seen it in a lot of um, Korean camping shows and I really want to get it so I found it in Daiso there's two sizes this size and also a smaller size like this now it doesn't come together bear in mind that I have actually unwrapped this and put it together inside this one you can cook rice with it it does come with measurements three cups and two cups and then you put the water accordingly i've seen koreans cook rice in it and they even cook their noodles ramen in it so i'm really excited to try this one for the smaller one i don't know what i'm gonna cook in it because it's so tiny but it's so cute that i really have to get it plus you can buy the insert like this and put it in and you can steam your veggies in it so I thought that's really cute and um, it, it doesn't come with the insert you have to buy it yourself but I really love it so there you go that's those are uh, my cooking stuff and lastly what I bought from Daiso is this what do you call it this pole that you can attach your lamp or we have to stop we have to stop the video halfway because our awnings because we didn't pack it down was flying off so we have to stop the video and it's really windy here let's do the last item this is the what do you call it lantern stand i have yet opened this at all so i don't know what it looks like but they sell a lot of this on timu or so um that's this version that's also the ones that you can attach different um utensils on it so that one i'm also interested but i thought i might as well get this one first see if i like it and if i do i will get the other stand there you go just like our chair you just push it like this and then attach it to your table and then you put your lantern on it so this is good if you are cooking at night and you want a little light um you can attach this to the table um but Likewise, you can put it near your campsite and... Oh, oh, oh already. This one's done. Yeah, you hold it. Uh, yeah, hold it. Oh, the wind is so strong. Yeah. We're back in Harvey Dam today. Um, we're trying to create some unboxing video. 
and um, I had my new um, Rhino Rack Batwing awning uh, out today and uh, with the legs um, extended and it's a bit windy and I did peg it down and the wind actually blew under it and the awning was flipped over the roof and two of the plastic knuckles have uh, snapped so um, lucky enough uh, Rhino Rack has provided two spare ones that I can go home and try to uh, replace them yeah so it took us two hours to drive here and the thing turned out that great what was the case for this? so how was it bit? took us two hours to drive so overrated I mean it's beautiful, like just wish that we got more time so that we can have it relaxing. It's a weekend, but it's not relaxing at all and the rhino rack has to break off. Do I have to pin anything down for this? No. We have been wanting to get a fridge um, and with the Black Friday sales, we spotted one that was, uh, what is it? Brass Monkey? Is uh, it the brand is Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey. From Jaycar. From Jaycar. And it's 499 when we first looked at it and think to ourselves, do we want one? Because we really want to invest in a good one. And we have been looking around and the one that we wanted to get was, what was the brand? Domatic. Domatic and it has a sale for the older model, um, also 45 litre. It went down from 1,029, I think, to 599 or 499. Do you remember? 599. Um, 400, uh, 599, including a cover for including the fridge. Including a cover, which is quite a good bargain. But it's a and fridge. It, it's and a, a freezer. really good one, um, that brand. And however, in looking at that, you can have either the fridge or the freezer. Where else the Brass Monkey one it does have a dual zone which is what attracts us which means that on one side it has the fridge and on the other side it has the freezer Let me show you what's inside Now currently we don't have a lot in there We just have a couple of drinks and iced coffee And then on the other side David just bought icy poles just to test it out whether it's freezing or not um, But as you can see it worked pretty well um, The intention is to actually buy a few beers or a few drinks while we go camping and have some chilled drinks um, It does also come with a little cutting mat which I don't think I'm ever gonna use it but it's a nice novelty, come on and that's pretty much it What I don't like about the design is actually this tro um, trolley puller um, I find it really taking up the space and there's also a wheel at the back which I don't see that I'm, I don't quite like it but the sense that it has the dual zone is what attracts me so I'm happy that it's a dual zone for that price oh I forgot to tell you J Car actually put down the price to 399 um, after the Black Friday which means this is actually another hundred dollars off bargain bye so just one thing um, when we bought this for 399 when I took took it home and unboxed it the the handlebar here, the telescopic handlebar was uh, was already broken so the next day I had to take it back and um, exchange it for a another one so what they did is they unboxed another one uh, in front of me and the second one that they unboxed was also broken the handlebar here was broken so the third one that they unboxed uh, in the shop uh, was was this one here which is in excellent condition so um, so this is the one that I took home. So Doesn't give us a lot of confidence in the product itself, but I'm just hoping that it's the handle that's not good. The fridge is gonna work fine. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so um, we bought this um, Japanese coffee. It's one of the best Japanese coffee that you can get. It's called Boss, as it says here, number one canned coffee in Japan. So we bought um, a pack of four. I think it was 11 or $12 at Kohl's. $11. Uh, $11 at Coles and um, I've chucked a couple of these in the fridge to cool it so the, the double the ice double espresso it reminds me of the Malaysian um, coffee the Malaysian yeah. coffee which is sweet and strong that's how I like it the other thing on top of the um, the fridge lid is um, you got four spots to put your drinks so right there and then in the middle, um, you just have to take out the, the built-in chopping board and you can lay on top of here for cutting stuff. Since we're here in Harvey Dam, I'm going to see if I can take some drone shots with my drone. 
Um, so this is a pretty old one, it's a DJI Spark. Um, I still use it, uh, it still takes good quality videos. So um, took the drone out and uh, flew it, trying to do the spiral shot, and I hit a tree. Um, the tree right behind me didn't have enough space, lost lost their propeller, and um, some scratches. I probably can wipe it off. It's probably like smudges. Yeah, not a good day today. We got the back wing snapped. Uh, what did you say? What? Don't bring what out? Yeah, yeah. Fiona did say don't don't fly the drone after we uh, we, we uh, broke the um, the the awning. I just didn't realize that um, it was so close to the tree and they hit it. I can now uh, find the um, the propeller that's broken off. Um, it's somewhere in the bush here. So it flew and hit this tree, and uh, it dropped right into this bush. I was lucky enough that it dropped into the bush, not onto the not onto the gravel ground, or else um the drone will be um, damaged um, externally and um, anyway I um, don't think I can find the propeller anymore but I bought um, heaps of spare ones which I can bring with me next time so yeah Okay, so we um taking the kids to the park for what? Looking at how to catch marrons, apparently you can catch marrons young. So early January will be back. Okay, so um it's about 6.35 in Harvey right now. So we need to let Chu and Leia for a walk um, at the local park that Fiona just found on Google Maps. So it's this one here. Hey, no barking darling. Okay, let's get you out. Leia, sit, sit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Okay, wait, wait, stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay. Okay, mommy. Huh? I forgot to take the mission. Chew, wait, wait, stay, 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 wait for mommy. Wait for mommy. Good job. Chew, wait, 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 wait for mommy. Listen, this is the gate. Where are you going, babe? Oh. Go in, go in, Leia, this way, come on. Go inside. Chewy, come on. It's a nice little park here, um, very green. Wait, what's this park called? Okay, if you want to say this is called the Meriden Park. How do you spell it? M-E-R-I-D-E-N or something, Meriden. Okay. It's 36 Hinge Road. 36 Hinge Road in Harvey, so we'll leave the location in the description below. Um, I think it's the, the I don't know what you call it. It's uh, for water drainage. Has his pool? Is it um? Yeah. Is it solid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time for um, Chewy to do his business. So it's Leia. Leia's already done it. 
I need to drop this off into the bin. Someone has to do some dirty business here. Town is pretty quiet at the moment. We've only been here like a couple of times. Um, it's very quiet right now. So I think uh, after this, we're heading back home. Are we going to get any dinner? Mm, I don't know. By the time we get home, the kids will be very hungry. It's 8 o'clock. What should we eat? Any suggestions? No, because we need to get back home and cook for them. So today in Harvey has been a really short one. We didn't come out of the house until 3 o'clock and then we bought lunch and then we took our takeaway lunch here to eat. I would suggest giving yourself more time because the drive from our house here is about 2 hours, another 2 hours back and we only spent roughly around 1 hour here. Um, by the time we got here, it was pretty windy. So I would suggest coming in early. You can even camp here, but we've yet found a really good free camp. So um, if we find one and camp here, we shall give you um, description where we camp. But at the current moment, we're still looking. It is ideal to camp here because there's water, there's marins in January. I think that will be the attraction and it's beautiful here that's pretty much it we are going to let the dogs run around for a bit and then head back home which is another two hours um and we'll get some takeaway on the way home that's it bye from us aren't you gonna say to like and subscribe oh <laughs> not used to this please like comment or subscribe to us if you really like this video bye bye <laughs> Leia, where's your ball? Can we get the ball chip, Leia? Go. Chewy. Chewy ball. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, <laughs> this is amazing. We are on the way out of the town, and David happened to Google um, what's uh, what's in here and guess what we found a big orange towel so Australians as a way of um, having like big pineapple I guess this is what is famous for big orange this is a town of where Harvey Fresh is um, Harvey beef that's also cheese so that's those are the three things that pop into my mind when I think of Harvey so I've never seen such a big orange towel but here you go <laughs>